Hi, I'm Sean Walker from iChain Hockey. Today we're doing the one-on-one -on -one offensive options. Uh, so essentially we're just going to show three basic dekes to stepping around a defenseman. Um, if I'm going to my backhand side and I'm charging wide in the first movement, I want to make it obvious that I'm going to my forehand side first. Put your weight on that leg, then step across, bring it to the backhand side, keep it away from the poke check, so really pull it far to the side. Use your lead leg as well as your arm to push that stick and that body out of the way. Uh, don't be afraid to make contact with the defense when you've got to claim territory, so don't go wide, only get right back behind them. And then this is the most important part. We want to focus on the separation factor. So we got to take another two or three or four crossovers, drive to the net, and separate from that defenseman. Okay, same option when I want to drive wide around the player. Uh, if I'm stepping to the forehand side, we want to make it obvious that we're going to the backhand side. So I bring my head over, bring my leg over, I'm making it obvious that yes, I'm going in this direction. In order to get to my forehand fast, we've got to get into a wide stance. And once we get into that wide stance, we step right to a speed, go to my backhand, and then step that leg out nice and wide. We can lift up this toe, sink that across, really well protected on the forehand side. Cut back in, claim some territory, and then focus on your crossovers, drive to the net, focus on separation. Okay, second option in our one on one. Uh, I want to make it obvious that I'm driving wide. So I'm going to make it really obvious that I'm going to my forehand side bring my head over. Um, you can almost get a little bit ahead of the body and I want you to show the puck. So just showing the puck simply means the player can go for the poke check. And if they do go for the poke check, they're gonna step around with the backhand side. Fastest way to do this, slide your bottom hand down and bring your top hand in. So it's a really quick toe drag motion. Uh, you can keep the puck and the blade attached or what I like to do is tuck the puck. So we're gonna slide the puck almost all the way to my backhand side and it's gonna meet on the backhand side. I did that just by sliding my hand all the way down and then meeting it to the backhand side. So it looked like this. It's really obvious that I go down the forehand side, show the puck, slide my hand down, bring it to the backhand side, then use that arm, claim some territory, and focus on separating. Okay, second option in cutting uh, to the middle, uh, if we go to the backhand side, uh, we still want to show the puck as much as we possibly can just to make it really obvious that they can go ahead and poke check the puck. We have to pull the puck into our left leg, really keep it well protected. A nice movement here is just stomping off your right leg and at the same time using your bottom hand to shove the puck from backhand to forehand. Um, it's a nice movement just to do at the same time. Right leg, onto your left leg, protect that puck out wide cross back in, clear some territory, and then focus on separation. So a really good exercise to focus on that cut in is uh, just uh, place two pucks down just like we had and what I want you to do is just focus on tucking the puck off the forehand side and tucking it off the backhand side. And all we're trying to do is just essentially make the letter V. Uh, it's really important that we don't do this and just bring it from forehand to backhand but we really have to bring it into our feet. Tuck it into my right leg and then tuck it into my left leg. This the puck really well protected. It's a really good exercise just to focus on the hands.
Okay, so our third option in going one-on-one -on -one against a defensive player um, is to step out wide and then cut to the middle. Uh, if I go to the backhand side, then I'm going to stalk really aggressively, and then we're going to focus on separation. So we really want to protect the puck, lean in against the defenseman, and then do 10 or 11 crossovers. If you do one or two crossovers, you're not going to get it around that defensive player. Stop, and then cross once, and then realize the defenseman's back into a good position, and you have to stalk and come back. And that's the falling leaf technique, right? So it doesn't really work um, in a one-on-one -on -one situation. We want to stop. Instead of doing one cross over, focus on the tail and really focus on separation. On the backhand side, it's the exact same thing. You drive out wide, stop off the backhand, throw them, cut my way back into the middle, really lean in against that defenseman, and then again, focus on separation.